Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I'll be explaining steps for the projections of lines. So in the last video we have discussed these different cases for the lines. The last case that is very important for us to draw the projections of lines because of above these five cases are very simple to draw the projection of line. But this is really a very interesting case. So let's start with the case number 6 because of above these cases are very simple so definitely you can draw the projection of line for these 5 different cases directly from the description. But for the case number 6 you have to follow the particular steps. So let's see. First of all the pictorial presentation for this case number 6 that also we have discussed in the last lecture. So if you want to refer these all different cases for the projection of lines to understand the concept then definitely you can go to the playlist where you can refer the earlier video. So here this is the top view that is denoted by AB and front view is denoted by a dash b dash. And this is the front view that means a dash b dash that is above x y line and here HP is always rotates 90 degree in clockwise direction and so that AB will move below XY line. Here you can see both front view and top view are inclined to XY line and so that no view is parallel to XY. So that both front view and top view are reduced length. That means no view shows the true length. Next steps for the projections of lines. So it is very important. So focus it carefully and see the whole video with full concentration so that definitely you can draw any problems from the projection of lines. This is the earlier figure that already we have discussed. Orthographic projections means you have to draw the front view and top view of line AB. And here I have drawn A dash B dash that is the front view and AB that is the top view with their apparent inclination alpha and beta. So keep in mind that front view makes the angle with the xy line that is known as alpha that is called as the apparent angle and top view makes the angle with the xy line that means with the horizontal that is known as beta that is also called as the apparent angle. So this alpha and beta are called as the apparent angle or sometimes it is called as the apparent inclinations. Here top view that means AB is not parallel to XY line here you can see not parallel to XY line hence his corresponding front view that means A dash B dash is not showing the true length and true inclination also with horizontal plane. So how to find the true length? So once again there are different cases when front view and top view are known then views are rotated to determine true length and its inclination with HP and VP. So very simple to find the true length you have to rotate views. So let's see how you can do it. So this is the information that already you have. Now First top view is rotated. So here you can see AB that means top view is rotated and made parallel to XY line. It is like that rotated and parallel to XY line. So it is known as AB1 corresponding to this B you can say it is AB1. Then it is projected up to here. So you will get A dash B1 dash. So here you can see its front view is a dash b1 dash. As you know that in the vertical plane always you will get the front view. So it will be projected up to here so that you will get a dash b1 dash and that is known as the true length and a true inclination with HP. So when I drew it a dash b1 dash so it is called as the true length and the inclination with this horizontal line is called as the true inclination with horizontal plane. So this is the true length A dash B1 dash and this is the true inclination with horizontal plane. 
So here we have rotated the AB that means top view. You can rotate A dash B dash that means front view also. So it will be like that first parallel to XY line then projected up to the path of B. So you will get B2 over here join a b2 that will be your true length and the inclination with the horizontal line will be denoted by pi so here theta and pi both are actually called as true inclination whereas alpha and beta are called as the apparent inclination now the reverse process if you have true length and you want to find the front view and top view then how you can do it here we have actually front view and top view and from that if you want to find the true length then you have to follow these steps now the reverse process exactly if you have the true length and you want to find the front view and top view then this is the initial situation you have the true length and now you want to find the front view and top view now see carefully you have to follow exactly the reverse process First you have to draw the locus of the point A dash, A, B and B dash. Now see, first you have to draw the projection that means vertical line from horizontal to vertical plane. That means here you have B then you have to move up to A dash. Then rotate it so that you will get the front view. Very simple. So to get the top view or front view, you have to draw first the projection and then arc. In this case, first you have to draw the arc and then projection. Then you can draw vertical line from this B dash, so automatically you will get B. Because of you know that in case of the projection of point, always B and B dash are on the same vertical line. Similarly, here also you can see A and A dash are always on the same vertical line. So you can find B over here. You can find in another way also. Just draw the projection and then arc. So you will get B point also. So this is the top view and here it is the front view and the angle made by top view with this horizontal line that is represented by beta always and the angle made by front view with this horizontal line that is always represented by alpha so here you know that alpha and beta are called as the apparent angle whereas theta and phi are known as true inclination so here what we have done draw first the projection and then arc so you will get the front view and top view. So now study and memorize it as a circuit diagram and use in solving problem. So already we have discussed it. This is called as a circuit diagram that you have to remember in your mind. And here you know the true length that means A dash B1 dash and here it is A B1. So that is called as the true length. Then angle of true length with HP. Here you can see angle of true length with horizontal plane that is represented by theta and angle of true length here you can see AB1 with VP that is denoted by phi. So keep in mind that always angle of true length that means the true length in the form of elevation that means A dash B1 dash. That is always theta and here angle of true length that is in the form of plan or you can say in the form of top view that is always denoted by phi. Next angle of front view that is always denoted by alpha. Next angle of top view here you can see that is always denoted by beta. Next position of A. That means distances of A and A dash with reference to XY line. Here I have taken randomly 
But if it is mentioned in the description, then according to that, you have to look at the A and A dash with reference to X, Y. That is called as a position of A. Next, position of B, that means the distance of B and B dash with reference to X, Y. And at last, distance between end projectors, that means the perpendicular distance between line A, A dash and B, B dash. Here you can see. So, these are the different terminology that we are going to use frequently while we are going to solve the problems related to the projection of line. So, keep in mind these all terminology, then it will be very simple to solve the problems. Now, I will show you the very shortcut method to remember the steps to draw the projections of lines. It is really very helpful to draw the problems related to the projections of lines in the examination. So see carefully over here. This is the sequence that you have to remember TPA where T represent as true length, P represent as projection and A represent as arc. So try to understand if you want to draw front view and top view that means the projection of the line then you have to follow this sequence that means first you have to draw the projection from the true length then you have to draw the arc so you will get the front view and top view in the reverse direction if you want to draw the true length from the front view and top view then first you have to draw the arc then projection so that you will get the true length now once again here the very interesting point particularly for the projection up to where you have to draw the projection. So you have to remember this thing. If you have the elevation then you have to go up to the plan vice versa. If you have the plan then you have to go up to the elevation. That means B dash to A or it can be A to B dash or vice versa. So keep in mind over here, you have to change the name. Here you can see B to A or A to B. Similarly, you have to change the view also. Here you can see from elevation to plan and plan to elevation. Now similarly, here you can understand if you want to draw the projection from the arc, then once again you have to follow the same step. That means you have to change the view. That means elevation to plan or plan to elevation and also you have to change the name that means B to A or A to B. So this is really very important to draw the projection of the line. So keep in mind this only chart and in the next session we are going to solve the projections of the lines with the help of this theme only. So if you remember this theme then definitely you can solve any problems related to the projection of the line. So next time we will solve the problems. So this is really a very simple circuit diagram. So if you have any question then you can write your question in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.